Air signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, welcome to my channel, Tarot by the Intuitive Teacup. That is me. I am here to bring you three individual mini love tarot readings, my little sips. Uh, there's going to be one for Gemini, one for Libra, one for Aquarius. I will timestamp it below so you can hop right to your sign if you so desire, but why not stick around? You may learn something, right? But your fellow air signs. I hope this video finds you well, guys. Um, for the newbies, welcome. Happy you stumbled upon my channel. Here on YouTube, I do general messages. That means not everything I say will resonate. Up to you to come into this reading with an open heart and an open mind. Do keep in mind that uh, not everything I say will resonate with every Aries out there. Um, so only take away the messages that resonate with you, uh, that motivate you, serve you, inspire you, empower you. If something feels strange or foreign, feel free to release those messages. What else do I need to tell you? Everything else is written down in the comment box below. I hope lots of this resonates. Pieces and parts of it very likely will. And if it doesn't resonate now, it might not be your story or it may resonate in the future. Uh, if you want to contact me for a personal, that is down below, as well as the decks I'm using, my social media channels. I'm annoyingly active on Instagram. I love Instagram. I think it's such a great platform for, for doing like da daily tarot cards and stuff. So if that's uh, at all your interest, go ahead and check that out. And if not, that's okay too. Do you know what's so funny? I picked up my cards and I was like, there's like addiction issues going on here or like medicinal, medicinal marijuana or something like that. It's funny. And then, then you have this drug, come, or this drug, I said, this card come out. So Gemini's, <clears throat> anyway. Yeah, that's it. We're going to hop into Gemini's reading. <laughs> Time stamping for Gemini. Here we go. All right, Gemmy Gem Gems. Tell me about Gemini's love life. <clears throat> Please and thank you. The sun, I like that. It's a beautiful card. <clears throat> California girls. I wish they all could be California girls. That's what I just heard. Look at this. Look how fun. Look how fun that is. Gemini. Eating french fries in the sun in your bikini. That sounds nice. That sounds like you're living the life. Or with your with your lady in her bikini. All right, let's hop in. I'm being silly. Sorry, Jim. All right, so your person's love energy, Queen of Wands, the Magician, Temperance. I knew that card was going to come out. <laughs> and Ten of Pentacles, very strong. So your person has two major arcana, uh, Temperance as well as the Magician. So we have Sagittarius, Virgo, and Gemini energy coming in. Now what's in their heart space is you, uh, the, the Gemini energy. Well, it's Gemini and Virgo because it is Mercury, uh, uh, in case those are interested in, in learning about tarot. I try and throw in some of those too. Uh, yeah, the magician is mer Mercury energy, so communication, uh, communicating within oneself to manifest what it is that they wish to to create, what they wish to be in the world. Uh, but this is you. Yeah, <laughs> they like your hair. So this I don't know if this is brand new. There's a lot of flirtation here and this person is trying to appeal to you. It is sort of sexual, but it's so much deeper than that. Uh, there's there's like a beautiful healing energy with this person. Uh, particularly a fire sign, an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This person wants to blend cups with you for the long term. They want marriage and babies. They want the dog. They want the house. They want the kids. Now that's their energy. I'm not saying all my Gemini's are, um, <laughs> this is so bad. I almost said genitals. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It was a slip of the slip of the tongue, but it came out for a reason. Slip of the tongue. This is getting raunchy. And it's not, though. That's the thing. Like, yeah, Queen of Wands, she's, she's pretty sexually attractive, right? But uh, this this actually feels like there's a lot of purity. This feels like, um, and for those who are new, like, or I should say those who are old, you guys know I, I don't try and be a hype man with the cards. I want to give you very realistic, you know, stories here. It doesn't do me anything to promise you the sun and the stars and the moon and then that not come true for you. This feels very powerful. This feels like you are the answer to this person's wishes. Um... They, they admire your strength. They really do think you're beautiful. Uh, but it, again, it's so much deeper than that. It's like, yes, exterior beauty, but in, in internal beauty. Uh, they think you have a very clever mind. They think you're quick witted. They think you're, they think you're smart. They think you're intelligent, but they recognize that as, as beauty. She's beauty and she's grace, right? He or she, right? <clears throat> yeah, they see a, a uh, there's uh, so many cards that have flowers blooming, roses, daisies, sunflowers, lilacs. What is the flowers about? Do you have a tattoo of a flower? Do you have flowers growing in your front yard? Something about a flower. Oh, maybe someone's name is a flower. Absolutely. Um, yeah, flowers are very important in the spread, the smell of flowers. So it could be a perfume if there's a particular scent, a cologne, something like that. <clears throat> 
Maybe this person is going to give you flowers. Yeah, there may even be some proposal for the long term. Absolutely. With the tree and the ten of pentacles, this is like join my family tree. Welcome to the family. I want to grow a life with you. And it's very beautiful. It seems like this is something this person has given great thought to. They're not making rushed offers. They're not uh, putting their heart before their head or vice versa. They're just like, they're so at peace with this. And, and they just, they like you. They, they see there's a magic about you that they love and, and they want they want to be with you, Gemini. I'm not even going to go further into it, really. I mean, that seems beautiful. Uh, so where's your energy at? So then you got this going on. <laughs> Is this person driving you crazy? Or some of you may just be very depressed. Um, yeah, actually, this card have, has like a very heavy connotation. It doesn't have to be you. Uh, there may be someone struggling in your life, particularly your father or your mother, with depression. Um, and, and God forbid this is the case, but I feel like I need to mention it because if you are concerned about someone um, like taking their own life, check in on that person, right? Again, I, I don't do fear-based readings, but that that is absolutely coming up here with that. Not for everyone, but yeah, for the one or two of you who are sensing that, here's the thing, I don't think it is your other person. That could have been something that happened in the past, I suppose, but if that's the case, I think they have healed from that. This might literally be uh, the, the person who came in in your energy, you may already be married to them, but even if that's the case, it's like there's more celebration and victory to come there. This seems like something that's going to be very positive throughout the years. They, you light up their world. You light up their sky. All right. So then let's get back to yours. And I mean, this is Harley Spencer tarot. It's very funny. It's very silly. It's very wacky. It's untraditional. There is a heavy message there, right? But also it says like egomaniac on the bottle, right? So egotism. So I mean, it's, that part of that might be a jest. Give me, give me the major message here. Some of you may be thinking about an Aries or worried about your father, particularly your father's health or your father's addictions. Yeah, see, I don't, I don't love the tower coming up with that card. Sudden or unexpected changes in the family dynamic. Uh, and it could even be like medical issues that are requiring, you know, drugs, you know, medicinal type things. Again, careful if there's someone in your life who's really struggling with uh, with depression or an eating disorder or something. Yeah, I just want, and maybe it's you, Gemini. Uh, you know, I would just watch the self medication. Yeah, someone who's very frail, someone who's very weak. They there's too much going on in their body. There, it's like their system needs to be flushed out. Uh, so in somebody's life too, there may have been a, a, a death, uh, a, a death scare, a, a, a touch, a brief encounter with death. This, this might not be a prediction for most of you. I don't think it is. Again, I never, ever, ever trying to do fear-based readings. You know, it doesn't serve you to live your life just like, oh my God, what's going to happen next? That's not what I'm doing. I'm making you aware of if there's someone in your life like that, that's an important message for you to step in and maybe intervene and, and, you know, offer some kindness, offer some warmth, offer some compassion. Some of you are very worried about the relationship between your mother and your father. You see it crumbling. It could be that your parents or even your, your siblings. I don't know if it's you, Gemini. I don't know why I'm not getting that it's you. Unless if you resonate as the father, Gemini, maybe this has to do with you. But for most of you, you're fearing or worrying about the crumbling of a relationship in your family um, like your, again, mother, father, brother, sister, or it could even be a best friend. Someone is really struggling with heartbreak in a relationship and there's a clinging or not wanting to let go of someone who potentially has already passed as well too. So, and you know, if, you know, God forbid you, you lost a parent, it could be that your other parent is not dealing well with, with that heartbreak. I don't know why that's coming up because yeah, anyway, sorry. But everything comes up for a reason, so someone needs to hear that. Yeah, you, there is some sort of chaos in your life that was unexpected, and you're, some of my Geminis are not coping well with it, but you're wanting to cling to what is familiar or what has always been. The universe is saying this, this tower was brought down for a reason because you were stuck. You were not growing. When you're in the darkness, there's no sunlight. There's no growth, which is what is required for flowers, right? Flowers to bloom. They need sunlight. They need water. 
When you're in the tower, you're dancing with the devil, right? It's it's fun sometimes, right? It can it can be whatever. It can be codependency or sexual relations or, or a, a nasty drug habit. But in the moment, it feels good. It feels right. I think the universe brought the tower down on either codependency to a person, to a place, to a job. The tower came down and some of you are not coping well with it. Or the tower came down to rescue you from something that was... Uh, uh, haltering in, in inhabiting your spiritual growth. Yeah, it's almost like the, the angels rushed in to save you from something. Gosh, this is like a, actually a very deep message. But in, in your head, there's it's almost like the, the clearing of the dust and the smoke after the tower came down. Interesting. So that even is saying to me, some of you had a relationship to someone involved in 9-11. The falling of the towers and the clearing of the dust and the smoke. Uh, some of my Geminis potentially lost a, and again, years ago, right, guys? Potentially lost a spouse or someone very close to them uh, in, in during 9-11. I'm sorry. Oh, that's a heavy message. But I guess it should offer you peace of mind that Spirit is coming in to say that, yes, we recognize that. And you've come a long way, so don't throw in the towel now. Some of you may have, you're, you may be experiencing like a dark night of the soul, really, really questioning Having a crisis of faith, like no, I'm sort of feeling like nothing is getting better for me. Where's my person? Where's my sweetheart? For some of you, though, your sweetheart is already with you. Yeah, for some of you, you're in like a kick-ass relationship, maybe with another Gemini or a Virgo. And there's so much love there. This person is your support system. They love the shit out of you, Gemini. <laughs> so coming up in your heart space, Page of Pentacles, taking it to the next level. And yes, I have to call, I have to say it. Some of you are choosing wedding rings out with your person. Sometimes this can be a card of going shopping. I know that sounds ridiculous, right? Like there's a shopping card in tarot? Yeah, sometimes. Looking at the glass case, looking at the options, seeing what emotion it provokes in you. And they're gold cups, right? They're golden options. And when it shows up with like a pentacle, right? Page of Pentacles is not new. It, it's continuing to grow with someone, earth energy. That's what I mean. This person who wants to blend cups with you, who wants the happily ever after, who wants to have babies with you and add you to the family tree or however you want to look at it, right? You know, maybe it's not marriage. Maybe it's just you're my person and I love you. Maybe that hasn't been spoken yet. It's about to be communication, queen of wands. <clears throat> Tell me about this page of pentacles, please. For some of you, it might be a cancer or someone who has very strong cancer in their chart. Yeah, someone's coming in with a letter or you guys may have signed an official document or contract together. It might be a marriage certificate or a marriage license. It could also be a, a big, you know, a contract, something that requires your signature. I'll say it like that for, for a new car, for a new home, for some, some sort of big and major accomplishment that I could even see that says you've been saving your money to put towards this. For some of you, there's going to be an unexpected medical bill, okay, and that, that's going to impact your finances, so just be careful with your money right now if you can be. Yeah, I'm, I'm seeing jewelry, so maybe you're just getting your, your person a fun piece of jewelry or vice versa, a fun little object. Uh, you may be buying it for their birthday, I'm hearing, so maybe in Cancer or Leo season or Virgo season. In fact, you have all three right in a row. Interesting. I mean, you do have other signs too, but yeah, there's something about waiting. It's either waiting to propose or waiting to show the ring or waiting to buy the object that I think you two are investing in together. So maybe it's a home. I think that got put on delay and, and it's very frustrating. You guys want to move forward with it. The universe is saying you will, but there's a reason for the delay. Uh, there's a need for patience here, especially with your Pisces. Your Pisces is excited about something, but they feel like you're rushing them on the decision. You're, uh, uh, there will be, there absolutely will be forward movement and travel. Uh, something about this may involve two children, particularly a fire sign child and an earth sign child. You guys may be contemplating having children. Uh, there could be discussions and somebody is not all in. Somebody, and it's not to say that they're not interested. It's just they really have to think about this because something about this purchase, this decision, this lay off this drug addiction, this whatever it is, it's going to cause significant changes in the relationship. But a lot of you have got this. A lot of you, it's like, this is my person and I love them again, male, female, same sex couples, whatever. It's saying through difficult times and bad for a lot of you, your person is going to help, help you coast along and get through the difficult times. When you're feeling very overwhelmed by your emotions, yeah, some of you are going to be getting messages from an earth sign or a fire sign. 
It's like they're, okay, there's another thing too. Like they're waiting in the wings for you. They, they got you. Like it's almost like they're telling you to hang in there. They're doing the same for you. So maybe something happened in your life. Again, whatever this is, it's, it's pretty serious though, right? This person is willing to wait for you and, and give you time and space to heal if that is required. Because yeah, you come out on the other end, sunshine and rainbows. So this does end very positively. I mean, just look how happy these cards are. Are you kidding me? These cards are incredible. Gemini, crushing it. But I do acknowledge there is there is something going on in this reading. It might not be all, uh, involving you directly. This, again, could be a friend or a family member who's struggling with addictions, with uh, I, anything really, a medical issue, whatever it is. <clears throat> yeah, for a lot of you, there's a, a Sagittarius and or a Leo who, who want to move in with you. Or again, it, this could be your best friends, your sisters, your brothers, a Sagittarius and a Leo, something about building a home or building a house, moving into a new space with them. It doesn't have to be both, but some of you may strongly resonate with one of those fire signs. You may have a lot of fire in your chart, Gemini. So again, uh, the sun and temperance. It's equally balanced and it's beautiful. Some of you just need to go hang out at the beach or or do something safe, right? I mean, I, I, don't, I don't know what beaches are looking like these days, but... Some of you are going to marry a chef or a cook or someone who's very interested in working uh, in, in the culinary arts, perfecting their culinary skills. <clears throat> and yeah, I mean, I, I am. I'm seeing like a bridal veil. Some of you, okay, some of you may be going on a little vacation with your bridesmaids. If that's what, I mean, I am getting kind of strong female energy. It doesn't have to be by any means. Um, yeah, like a little uh, girls or ladies getaway, uh, like a, or even could even be like a little like lunch, a lunch celebration to celebrate important news. It could even be that like your sister's having a baby, your brother's having a kid, something like that. Um, and yeah, they might share the news with you at a restaurant or some sort, some like eatery or a bar or something like. That. <laughs> I'm having a baby. Let's go to the bar. <laughs> I don't know why that was just funny, the way it came out. Yeah, for a lot of you, there's there's news about engagement. Okay, so here's the thing. For some of you, this is positive. Uh, you may feel like if somebody stole your thunder, like you had big news to announce as well. Maybe it has to do with a job or a promotion or reaching a, a personal goal or accomplishment you had. It feels like somebody steals your fire because they have an important announcement to make too. And you're actually, initially, it feels like they took your fire, but the opposite happens where you're just like, oh, okay, I'm going to let them have their moment, but <laughs> I'm going to let you finish, Taylor, but <laughs> no, it, it is something like that. It is a Kanye, a Gemini, how funny. And Taylor's a Sag, what do you know? Maybe those names mean something. Taylor Swift, <laughs> I don't know why that came through, but it did. Uh, someone in, it's like, you know, you're, you're out to lunch with your family. Your brother's like, I'm having a baby. And you're like, oh, but I'm getting married. And I really wanted to tell you guys. It, it's fine. It's going to come through. Uh, there could also be something with a Libra coming through here with the Queen of Swords. Um, if something about this news makes your mother nervous or... Um, or a, a, it could be a, a parent figure. It doesn't really matter. Particularly Libra. Uh, something about this news, your your mother, I don't know if she's jealous. I don't really think it's that. She's worried for you. She's nervous about you. And maybe that has to do with this. Uh, cr the crumbling of something. I, and the thing is, Gemini, I really don't think it's a relationship. It may be alluding to a relationship in the past that really took a toll on you. But my God, the spread is so good. I, I don't know what this is. And it's going to be different for every Gemini out there. But there was some sort of... It could be a layoff or a disappointment. I'm, I'm not trying to put a gray cloud in your sky here because you love looks really good right now. But your mother is worried about you. It could be if, if for those who are pregnant, it could be because she had a difficult pregnancy. So immediately rather than like celebrating, she's like, well, did you do this? Make sure you do that. It's like she immediately jumps to giving you all the information and the facts and the details. And you're like, can we just celebrate? Like I it, like someone is taking the news very seriously. And it's, it's not raining on your parade. That's not their intent. They are trying to pass valuable knowledge and advice to you. But I don't know if you're not willing to hear it or you don't want to hear it. But I mean, rightfully so. Part of you is just like, let's celebrate. Where's the champagne? And you have someone who's just kind of like in the corner like, well, I hope she's thinking about this. This could be, oh my goodness, this could be a spirit guide too. This might not even be literally like a parent. It could be 
I do think it's a uh, divine feminine Gemini. Something about the dog. They're worried about the dog. Or the, I don't know what this is. The material you use to make something or something. Oh, it could, it, I mean, if it's like baby stuff, you know, making sure there's not like poisons or whatever in the plastic or they're worried about the materials you're using. Is it to build a house, to do a project? They're, they're, I don't know if they're arguing, but they're asking you a lot of information about the specifics, about the details. It may be about a contract that you're signing. Okay, so if you get good news about a, a job or any, any type of opportunity, they're, they're a stickler on the details. The thing is, it is to help you, but you're, I guess they're wanting to make sure you don't rush into a mistake head first. I, I don't know what else to tell you, Gemini. I don't really see a lot of red flags here unless you, unless you decide to, to marry someone who has a really bad drug addiction. Then, yeah, that, that's going to go south. That, that's absolutely here. And it, there is an element of being very clingy, being codependent to this person. So just watch yourself. Again, that's not everybody's story. But, yeah, overall, voyage. Maybe you're going to go on a trip. Jenny Lewis Tarot. I love this. This is a card of cancer. It's a victory. It's road trips. It's travel. It's a, it's a very empowered card. It's like a warrior, right? The chariot, the charioteer. There's forward movement and progress in your love life. <clears throat> what I, I'm curious. Your video is always way too long, Gemini, but what can I say? Mm. What is something about a, the blocking of a Sagittarius? Are you leaving someone out? Oh, so for some of you, it's, it's when you're planning your wedding party, your mother is like, you have to include your cousin. And you're like, no, that bitch. <laughs> What is this? For most of you, I think it's a spirit guide. It's someone who watches over you. What are they trying to tell you? Be careful with your money. Uh, prepare for bad weather, inclement weather. I know that's weird. Maybe it's a, especially like thunder, uh, hurricanes, storms, lightning. I don't know if that depends on where you're building your house. There's something about the weather. She's trying to warn you about the weather. And it might even be about the honeymoon. Or, and again, something about the pregnancy, or if you're not looking to get pregnant, I don't know. It seems a little bit pushy, I'll be honest. Like, this person is really kind of interfering with your, your story here, but you'll know who it is. And if you don't, maybe it's not your message. The building blocks. No, it is something about a baby, potentially a, a baby born in Leo season or conceived in Leo season. Or if you end up marrying a Leo. Yeah, someone has doubts or concerns about the Leo. Or it could be like a Leo um, ancestor, angel guy. It could be a Leo mother. I don't know why Queen of Swords is such a, a mother maternal energy. She's like, no bullshit. Have you thought about this? I'm not helping. Gemini, what is this? What the hell is this? I think she's telling you to not be greedy too. Lots of presents are around. I don't know if you're at a baby shower or your friends. Uh, oh, it could be a Leo's birthday. Something about don't be selfish. Be generous. And something about London. Merry old England. What's that about? Who's in England? And the stars. It's divinely guided. Some of you are going to be traveling to England and you don't know it yet. All right, Gemini, that's what I got for you. I'm, it's not really going anywhere. Overall, fantastic reading. So far, you guys win. I just got through with the fire signs and... It was a lot. It was a lot to deal with. All right, Gemini, done, son. Check them off the list. Gemini, like, share, subscribe if you like that video. That would help me a whole lot. Stick around. We're going to do Libra. What's up with the Libra gang? Help me get some messages for Libra. Messages for their best and highest good about love. Love. Let's do it, Libra. Gemini had a good one, and you showed up at the very end, Libra. So if you're dealing with a Gemini, you're going to want to watch that one. Libra. Some of you are dealing with an Aquarius who's a soulmate and there's celebrations. Glory, hallelujah. There is some fun energy in these air readings. Just did the fire signs. It was a shit show. It, was, it wasn't a shit show, but there's a lot of heavy, heavy energy with the, uh, with the Geminis. Or, I'm sorry, with the Leos. But maybe I said that for a reason. Maybe you guys are having a hard time with Geminis. Um, with the fire signs in general. Get, let me get my words right. The fire signs readings were heavy, heavy, heavy. So... Let's see, what else What else do we need to know for Libra? I'm happy to see your, at least your person is vibing high. You set their world on fire. They want to grab your ass, <laughs> whether you're male or female. They, they definitely think about you in a romantic way, in a fun way. It's almost like you guys are best friends and lovers. 
you probably met this person through a mutual friend of yours uh, and, and hit it off very quickly. Some of you are going to ha have a soulmate type energy with a Pisces or a King of Cups, Scorpio Cancer Pisces. Uh, but some of my Libras have a choice to make. At, at your heart, you are sort of at a crossroads, two of pentacles. It's because you're, you're spread across two. <laughs> That doesn't have to be in romantic suitors. It could be splitting your time between taking care of your parents, taking care of the kids, seeing your seeing your boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever. <clears throat> Damn, Libra, who's got the cute butt? Who's got a nice ass? Because that's coming up twice in your reading. Pardon my French for those who are not used to such foul language. But yeah, someone's got a cute little butt. Oh my gosh, someone's getting a tramp stamp or a tattoo. That's funny. I shouldn't have called it that, sorry. A tattoo, a lower back tattoo. Joining worlds with an Aries or graduating from a job that doesn't serve you anymore. Some of you are gonna be involved with a musician, particularly a drummer. Uh, yeah, Aries is coming through very strong. This is saying this is a power couple, absolutely. Yeah, there's power couple vibes here and Aries is your divine counterpart, so we know how that goes. <laughs> Lots of twin flaming with Aries, I would imagine, but yeah, let's see. Libra, you're some of you are closing out a cycle at a workplace where it's like you, you've outgrown it. Um, and maybe the pandemic or whatever has made you realize that, right? Uh, I'm going to switch decks. Yeah, I'm definitely going to switch decks. <laughs> Consult the bottom of the deck and it's a card you don't like. Yep, switching decks. I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. All right. Libra. Oh, it fell. I hate when that happens. It's Queen of Cups. Someone's got the Queen of Love. That's probably you, Libra. Oh, <laughs> but do I want to show you the other one? Whoa, is that trippy when I move that? So what fell on the floor is Queen of Cups and the Five of Pentacles. This is saying to me, get out of the lack headspace regarding the water sign, the Scorpio Cancer Pisces. Because you're definitely thinking about a water sign. Is it a water sign that abandoned you? Or if you're married, if this is a divine pairing, male, female, same-sex couples, are you going through it together? Are you both in a, like a financial crisis? Are you both just struggling, right? This is a card of hardships, feeling lost, feeling abandoned, crisis of faith. What do we do? In a sense, it's sometimes going to be a card of victimization, just like, oh, and I'm not trying to minimize anything that you guys are going through. Tarot readings definitely do involve some tough love sometimes. Because this is a divine pairing, it might just indicate you guys as a couple may be going through something, but it's not necessarily indicative of a messy love life. It's just saying there's challenges and obstacles being thrown your way, particularly regarding money or, or uh, something about a house deal that didn't go through or a house where it's like you're fixing one thing after another and it's like a money suck. Interesting. So for my uh, single Libras, some of you are going to adopt a dog. <laughs> uh, that, and that seems like it's going to be your, like your everything. Some of you are going to adopt a dog and you're super excited about it. Some of you are going to get your hair did and you're very excited about it. <laughs> yes, I love that. I'm just going to show you the card. This to me is so, it's such a good Libra card. It's great. You're getting your all hair did. You're getting dressed up. Some of you may do that for a living. You may work as a hairdresser or cosmetics or something with clothing or fashion. Maybe you maybe you work with dogs or animals. And maybe, if you don't now, maybe you're going to start doing that. In fact, I just gave an illumination, an epiphany to some of you. You just went, oh, shit, that's the missing piece to my puzzle. I'm meant to work with animals. I'm meant to work with dogs. You knew it all along. I didn't do you anything good. The high priestess says, you know. You know, Libra. You already know. Some of you are going to work with old people at an old folks home. And uh, it, it would be something that you enjoy because you're very compassionate. And, and the, um, the seniors, or maybe it's children, it doesn't matter. They would very much enjoy the conversation and the compassion from you. Uh, you know, you're the empress, right? You have that, that uh, Venetian, Ven right? Venus, that Venetian love that, that rules the empress card. Yeah, it's like there would, uh, something about old people love you. They, they flock to you, Libra. Old people love you. Look at these cards. Working with old people, and, and I, I'm not trying to be an ageist by any means, elderly, senior citizens, however you want to say it, um, it's lucrative. There's money to be made there. So I don't know if you make a fashion product or any product. It could be a medical product, right, that specifically your target audience is, I, I do want to say senior citizens. I know that's kind of a kooky message, but it's absolutely coming up here. For a lot of you, I'm almost, oh my gosh, I'm getting like Frankie and Grace vibes. Do you know how they make... um? 
They make vibrators, right? For old people, there is an element of this something that allows people to older people to either enjoy sex or to enjoy it could be like a dating app for older people or something of the sort with romance and partnership relationships something that empowers maybe specifically women but yeah like an, an older generation you may market something that appeals to their nostalgia like a, a generational i heard gap but it's very positive uh it's it's the missing piece to their puzzle, whatever that means. Um, and that, that, that also could be spirit guides looking out for you, or if you're at all planning a wedding or an event, you're something about you, the, the grandmother or the grandfather, they're very excited to come. They can't wait. It's like they've circled the date on their calendar and they're just like, oh boy, like they love you. You have like a divine, I do want to say for most of you, it's divine feminine energy. So again, it could be a spirit guide. Either way, the message stands. Your spirit guide is like circling the date on their calendar. Like, oh boy, we get to party with Libra. That's really cute. Super cute message. All right, let's talk about your love life. I'm sorry. I went on a sidetrack there, but we are all over the place, aren't we? Okay. Three of Cups. Your person is thinking beautiful, warm thoughts about you. Um, for one or two of you, there may be an element of third party here, but if it's not your story, don't make it. Uh, that, it, especially with some Scorpio vibes. Uh, if there's a third party Scorpio energy to this, if you're dealing with a Scorpio, that's fine. But if you're thinking your Scorpio has a side piece, because your person does have love for, I think, an Aquarius. Maybe you have strong Aquarius in your chart, or maybe your person is an Aquarius. That's valid as well. Hmm. Mm. If you're at a place where you're talking about marriage and kids, your person is thinking about that too. Your person is closing. Okay, this is what I think this is too. It It's a little bit third party, but I don't hate it because your person is finally making a decision to end something, Ten of Swords, with what is already dead. It's like a skeleton hand. It's like there's no flesh and bone on there anymore. It's just, it's what's left. It's like the rem remnants. It's like the decay. It's I heard mummy. So maybe this has to do with uh, a, a divorce from a wife or, um, you know what I mean, something to do with mother or motherhood. It may involve your mother. You may be a mother. Your person, if, if, and only if there was third party energy, Libra, they are making a decision to end it once and for all. Because they do like you. There's, there's mad vibes. There's mad flirtation there. In, yeah, it's like their heart has already chosen you. This could have been a person who was really holding on to their bachelor or bachelorette lifestyle, but ultimately, they kind of, I think they come around and they realize if they let you go, they're going to lose you, um, like for good. So they don't want to do that. <clears throat> is, is this a Scorpio? Something about there's, there's a beautiful relationship with a Scorpio and an Aquarius. Again, that's probably not saying it's the Scorpio or the Aquarius who broke your heart. I'm really not getting that kind of like, you know, vindictive past type energy. This, this feels fresh. This feels like it got off to a really good start. And then four of wands. Yeah, I mean, their action or potential outcome is soulmate energy. At very minimum, it's celebrating a milestone. So if you guys have been dating, maybe it's like, hey, we've been dating six months. Let's, let's go out and celebrate. Let's do something fun. If it's not that, I mean, it, I mean, certainly the four of wands can be weddings, but it, it also just means it's a solid foundation. It's a foundation from which there is great potential for growth to to join worlds, to to come into this world together. For some of you, it's babies. Yeah. Ex experiencing a new birth with an Aries. So it could be that you're going to have an Aries child. It could be that, you know, the, the soulmate is the Aries. Ten of coins. Fuck yeah. Long-term family potential, beautiful energy. I really like this, Libra. So yeah, under this whole third party, death, ten of swords, we got like, whether it was on your end or theirs, it is coming up in their spread. That left you feeling some type of way. What you don't realize, it was a blessing in disguise, especially if they didn't choose you, because it allowed you to line up to your true soulmate, to your true partner. The king and queen of cups. They are not a pair because of their gender. I want to be very clear about that. This can, this applies to same-sex couples as well. It has to do with their elemental pairing. They're both of water. They're of the same element. So yeah, I think some of my Libras experienced this with someone who they had very fond feelings and affection for. Something about that ended if it was a third-party situation. And it could be that 
your Aquarius ended up going and choosing the Scorpio or the Scorpio you, you were interested in ended up choosing the star. I'm sorry, the star. I said that for a reason though. The Aquarius. No matter what the zodiac sign is, re rejection is divine protection. Your spirit guides were trying to get you to see your true soulmate, your true love. And it, it wasn't this person. It was karmic. You were meant to meet them. With time, you're going to understand there were very valuable lessons to be learned from meeting this person. For most of you, you were selling yourself too cheap. You were giving your love away for free to, to people who didn't deserve it or who just didn't match your vibe. Um, so again, you can walk away wholeheartedly knowing it served a purpose. Whether you're ready to hear that or not right now, I don't know. Maybe you're still healing. And again, that's you. That's your timeline. It's very personal. Healing is very personal. But for others of you, there, there's a different soulmate. And it, I'm okay. I'm literally getting spirit, universe, source, God. They were trying to get you to look this way it's like they were libra look this way over here and you were you were looking at one but you were supposed to be looking at the other so that says to me that your soulmate is probably already in your life you just if you're not dating them currently if you truly are nine of pentacles single lady single man you're you i love that this card is coming out what you initially perceived as five of pentacles again this is tough love guys but just hang with me Woe is me. My life is over. He doesn't love me. She broke up with me. They were my soulmate. You're going to have an epiphany moment about your initial viewing the five of pentacles as a detriment to your spiritual path. You're going to raise your vibration and realize, oh shit, now that I'm single, it actually made room for my true soulmate to come in. I was looking at the wrong person. It's like, I'm almost getting you, Libra. You're like, I'm sorry. Like, you were right. You were right. I was wrong. You're going to have a, oh, they're the missing piece. They're the missing link. Now, Libra, you know I'm going to tell you this because this is important. You are whole on your own. There is no my half, your half, better half. Like, no. You are the missing piece to your puzzle. I just want to be very clear about that. But you're watching a love reading, so I'm acknowledging you're looking for partnership. You need to be whole on your own, and maybe that's what the universe was trying to show you, right? You were constantly looking for that missing piece, and every time it disappointed you is because the universe was trying to get you to see, Libra, value yourself. Do you love yourself? I think you do now. I think you're starting to. I think you were giving it away for free a lot, uh, and I have to say sexually. There is an element of, of people, um, and I'm not judging by any means, right? I'm not judging the judge, the Libra, right? The judgment card. There was an element of sleeping with people to get their affection, but they, they left you high and dry. You're not doing that anymore. You, you're, you're holding back. You're approaching love relationships more cautiously. And I have to say, the universe is like, well done, Libra. We like it. We like it a lot. I like it a lot. I'm going to say this to the people who are with someone and you have cried many tears because it just isn't working. Ready for this? What if you just consider for two seconds to itty bitty seconds? What if that is not your person? What if your person is someone else? But because you're with person A, the one that you're just like, I love him and they, they won't call me and why can't it work? And, you know, I've been there. We've all been there. That is very human. What if you just for a second pretended that wasn't your person and imagine the new one coming in? I think that's what spirit is trying to get you to do. It's a challenge, right? And ultimately it's up to you. You don't have to. You don't have to release. Ten of Swords is saying drop it like it's hot. That is not your person. That is not your story. Especially when it involves third party energy. For others of you though, there is a beautiful relationship here. King and Queen of Cups, Four of Wands, Ten of Pentacles, the World, the Emperor, the Death card I love if it's a Scorpio, as well as the Star. It's it's kind of kinky and sexual and fun. It's I like it a lot, and this is such a card of being empowered on your own. It's not needing to rely on anybody else to, to get by in life. When this is your vibe, the, the ladies, the fellas, whoever you're looking at, they're going to come a-running, and they do. This oh shit is so great because it's, it's an epiphany, it's a recognition that what you once viewed as a hardship, I'm not saying it wasn't hard, but you look at it from a different perspective because this got you to be who you are today. That's a very powerful message, Libra. You start to see the other person as a soulmate. It might be the person who has a dog. You may meet them at the dog park. Maybe you, maybe you babysit for their dog. I don't know. Maybe If you work with animals, maybe you meet them that way. For some of you, it's going to be a Pisces. You're going to end up going to a Pisces or a Capricorn. <clears throat> All right, one more, one more. 
This is beautiful. I love it. I love this one. So are you going to go mountain climbing or hiking? Um, so yeah, something about like an adventure, uh, an extreme adventure, hiking boots, or partic particularly in the Arctic, uh, very cold temperatures. Is that a leap? And maybe that's maybe that's what your person does. Maybe you're going to sell that person their equipment to do that. You know, you know, these messages come up for all different reasons, but it's confirmations for a few of you. This person may live in a very cold place. They may live in, in yeah, like in Alaska or something like that. Lots of snow. And maybe that's just a timestamp of the season you're going to meet them. Maybe you're going to meet them in winter, right? Snake in the rider. All right, Scorpio, Pisces, they're coming in. <laughs> they're coming in hot. Yeah, there's movement and progress in your love life. Um, you, you're honoring your inner child. Um, or some of you, are, again, you're having discussions about having children. Or you may just fall for someone who already has a child from another marriage. You guys have spirit guides looking over you, particularly if both your parents have passed. They're, they're watching over this, and it's almost like they're, they're blessing the union for you to come in with, uh, into relationships or whatever with the actual soulmate. Some of you saw a tarot reader and they already predicted this for you, but you didn't believe them or you didn't get the message the first time around. Yeah, you're, you're going to buy a house. You're going to get a piece of jewelry. It's lucky. You're going to start a family photo scrapbook. You should start manifesting and you're going to go on a trip, an adventure of some kind, but maybe worldly travel. I'm so sorry, Libra. My camera froze because I wasn't using the right camera. Doesn't matter. Anyway, uh, I was wrapping up, but ditch the snake. Ditch the one who did you dirty, the one who's slithery and slimy. And the one when you think of, you go, uh, if it brings up that type, yeah, that's not the one. I promise you, that's not the one. What is important about the necklace or the tattoo? There's something very important about a necklace or a tattoo. That could be someone's profession. That could be a, an object that was passed down to you. Um, Maybe you got tattoos with your best friend. I don't. I don't know what that is, but does does anyone? Oh, does anyone have a pet snake? How interesting. If that's the case, I'm not. I'm not uh, saying avoid that person. But yeah, there is, uh, and something about the snake is important. The snake charmer, right? Interesting. Again, all these sexual metaphors are coming up there too. For Libra. All right. Libra, you have Squagimatarius. Just kidding. You have yourself, Libra. You have Leo, and you have Gemini. Now, that could be in your birth chart. That could be in your person's birth chart. That could be uh, con confirming something about an ex, but it might also just be predicting something about the, the future person or, or who you're already with, right? So bottom of your deck is Pisces. Yeah, you, you definitely had some moon energy. Uh, Pisces, someone who works in an art gallery, too. Uh, yeah, a curator at an art gallery or someone who took you to an art gallery. Anyway. All right, Libra, that's what I got for you. Yours was great, too. I really like that one. I dug that one. Aquarius, shall we move on to those beautiful water bearers? Let's do it. It's the dawning of the age of Aquarius. Aquarius. Aquarius, welcome to your love reading. What's up, guys? Let's get you some messages about your love life. You had one fall out. What's going on? Queen of Cups. Love it. I'm going to keep that one out. Let's, let's, let's do that. Let's do the Queen of Cups, male or female, the one who has love in their heart for you. Or maybe you have love in your heart for a water sign, a Scorpio Cancer Pisces. What a beautiful card, too. I love it. Ah, oh, sick. We are crushing it today. The air signs have good readings. The fire signs, not so much. My poor fire signs. I try to be sympathetic, but it's so funny when, when you post it and people immediately dislike it. It, it like kills my spirit. I spend so much time doing these and uploading them and editing the titles and the description. You post it and three minutes in, someone's like, nope. And you're just like, oh, really? Sometimes the truth hurts. Sometimes the truth hurts, Aquarius. I'm just kidding. All right, I'm being sassy. Let's do it. Three more cards. Ooh, bing, bang, boom. Some of you have love with a Libra. Some of you are going to have babies with a Libra. Now, there are two queens. Uh, you might be the queen of swords. Mm -mm. <laughs> and then it says, nope, Libra. <laughs> Ooh, lots of cards. All right, we'll take those three. Okay, shall we do it? Let's do it. If my deck would only shuffle. Ah, the whole deck is coming out. What are we doing? What are we doing, spirit? The devil wants to be seen. Who's the Capricorn that you wasted your youth on? 
Is this like a high school boyfriend, a grade school boyfriend, girlfriend? You know, don't mean to be gender specific, but it was a victory blocking them, walking away from someone. It doesn't have to be a Capricorn, but the one that you feel like wasted your time or took your heart and then ran and peaced out and you never heard from again, they might be circling back, but the universe is saying, block that motherfucker. There's a victory in the blocking. Stand your ground. Um, and it's probably because they're married. <laughs> That's going to make sense to some of you. All right, moving on. Your person is coming up as the world. I love that because you are featured on the world. They are looking up at you. This person has many options. They have many people looking at them romantically, but they've chosen you, Aquarius. They see a victory with you. Beautiful. This might be someone who you have had, I don't know if it's on again, off again, but you may have recently had like a major problem in the relationship. But despite that, this person wants to move on from the arguments or the fight. They want to continue to build with you and just sneak peek. Your cards look very good. So I'm, I'm thinking this is probably someone you would want to work with as well. Um, it could be that this is someone from particularly a water sign, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, someone who either you grew up with or went to college with or someone who's like around, you know them, um, but they may have not been available at the time that you had caught feelings for them. So this is actually saying that there might be an offer from someone who isn't brand new, but someone you've probably never dated before, or maybe you did. It doesn't really matter. They end up walking away from someone else in their life who they're you know it's uh it's emotionally void now it served its purpose you know it was a fun relationship while it lasted but ultimately like your person is looking for something new um this may be this may be a pisces specifically but yeah they're coming into you aquarius because you're on their mind and they see a victory with you in leo season no less right right in the heart six of wands uh this person is uh they're gonna put on their brave face that's a Frank Turner song. Do you all listen to Frank Turner, who is a Capricorn? Put on your brave face, honey, your brave face. I'm a terrible singer. I'm not going to put you through that. But yeah, they're, they, they really want to make themselves known in your life. Uh, they may have even come to your rescue, whatever that means, uh, at other points. You know, if you blew a tire or something happened with your kid and they picked them up for you. Yeah, this person may have been a very helpful ally, a very helpful friend to you in the past. It feels like it may end up being something kind of romantic, Aquarius. I got to be honest with you. For some of you, you're thinking about uh, probably a female air sign, but it doesn't have to be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Again, that could be your mother. That could be your brother. It doesn't have to be romantic. Um, others of you are thinking about a Libra, male or female, uh, that, that you're considering dot, dot, dot. So considering breaking up from, considering moving forward with. In your heart, you're you're happy. There's so much happiness and joy and growth and renewal. I think someone from your past comes in with an offer that either you were hoping for or you didn't see coming, but it makes you very happy. Your heart is filled with joy, filled with abundance. You're appreciating every day and you're living in the now. You also may be uh, working with uh, children or thinking about having children or participating in some sort of creative activity, hobby, making music, doing something that just makes your heart happy. Hanging out in a field full of flowers, you know. Yeah, and in, in your overall action card, you're probably going to end up going towards that Libra, or there may be talk of a of a yeah a marriage certificate or, or a wedding or something like that. For most of you, it may be a very informal, like yeah, we just go and get the license, and you know, maybe you get someone to officiate at like a very small wedding, but it would be kind of just like a <laughs> quick and dirty. No, I'm just kidding. But no, there, there's it's there it's there's interest in that. Six of Wands again. I always see the laurels as a shout out to the filmmakers. Are there any filmmakers or photographers in the house? There may be a contract for something involving that job or that career too, even if you're an actress or. Work in the movies, kid, or television. Something about laurels, arts and entertainment to me. Awards, plaques, employee of the month. Recognitions at work and from your boss. It's, it's, it's leaving you just tickled. Yeah, queen of pentacles. There's money attached to this offer too. So it could be that you're going to combine your world. You're going to combine bank accounts with this person. And then nine of cups. Wish fulfillment in the world again. Stop it. Aquarius, do you have the world three times? This is an incredible card. It's a card of uh, completion, uh, bringing your life back to completion, harmony, 
uh, resetting things. It's, it's a card of graduation, having gone through many experiences, both good and bad. You come out the other end, a changed person, uh, but it's for the better, right? It's almost like a, uh, I heard debiton. It's like a re-release of yourself out into the world. Sometimes I see this as like the birth canal, like, you know, giving birth um, and, you know, the, the womb, the round belly, the world, right? Yeah, a lot of you are musician factors into this, or maybe you're planning your wedding song, or maybe you write write poetry or lyrics or song or painters. There's a lot of arts, arts and crafts and hobbies of that sort coming through. Some of you are going to take a road trip to go see another Aquarius who is in prison. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, no, something about uh, your, your star is aligning to go help someone, to go rescue them. There, okay, that makes sense. There's an interesting turn to the table where this person who may have in, in the past come to your rescue or just whatever that means, right? Gotten you out of a tricky situation was just there to lend a helping hand. You may actually have to go and return the favor and maybe something about that encounter Maybe sparks fly. I mean, I can tell you this, it's divinely guided. With the star coming up, you're meant to go help this person out of a tricky predicament, and it very likely includes a long travel to get to them. Yeah, many cards of travel in the world. So I, I just to note, the world always shows the fixed zodiac sign. So that means you, Aquarius. That also means Scorpio, Taurus, and Leo. You might be dealing with someone like that. Um, you do have a lot of Leo energy, but again, that could be a timestamp, possibly a Scorpio or a Cancer factors into this. And uh, did I say you have a lot of Libra cards? You definitely do. And then you do have, a, you know, you have the star. So maybe there's multiple Aquariuses you're dealing with, but who wears the flower crown? Is that you? Is that you on your wedding day? Is that your bridesmaid? Is that the woman you're going to marry? <clears throat> Lots of Capricorn energy too. A lot of it. And you might be dealing with multiple Capricorns. Some of you were opposed or just didn't have an interest in having children and babies. Uh, there's, there's a changing of the tide there. You're changing your mind. And that could be your person as well. For a lot of you, you were holding back on having children because you just didn't have the money. But, uh, yeah, this is cute. There's, there's a, a, me a message here just like, fuck it. We're never going to have tons of money. This is how we live. We'll make it work. We want to have a child. So... And I don't mean for that to sound irresponsible at all. It's just, you know, I think everybody has that. Whether you have a bajillion dollars or you're scraping pennies, there's something about wanting to have children. Some of you may adopt a child, too, um, or end up working with children in your career. Or For some of you, if something about travel, travel is happening in your inner around your, your circle of friends or your network. So it could be that your friend goes off to travel and you end up having to uh, yeah, babysit their kid or uh, look after their children and something about that. It's a very positive experience It like taps into your own inner child and there's yeah, there's like a nostalgia You remember what it was like to be young, you know uh, What is that game where you jump on the couch cushions? It's like the, everything is lava You you might play that it, it's it's so cathartic and healing for you. It's a lot of my Aquarians feel like they had to grow up very quickly, like they were denied a full childhood, maybe because they had an absent parent or something. Yeah, something about my Aquarians felt like they grew up very fast. They matured very fast. And some of you may feel like you didn't experience everything you wanted to experience. And so by hanging out with children, there's yeah, there's some like beautiful victory there for you. You get to play dress up with the kids. You get to take them to the baseball game. You get to I don't know what it is, but it's very beautiful. Divine pairing, king and queen of pentacles. Again, this can be same-sex couples. They are divine pairing because they're elements. You, this involves a money, a, like a contract at work, finding a, a partner you can collaborate very closely with, or it's finding the husband or the, or the, the husband or the wife, the father and the mother of, of the family. Some of you are gonna go on vacation and, and get a little naughty with your Capricorn or whoever. Um, be patient, give it time, because if you're looking to, um, conceive, if you're looking to have a child and, and you're struggling getting pregnant, uh, again, I, I'm not a doctor, I don't do medical readings, but for a lot of you, it happens when you're relaxed, when, when you're out of this, yeah, when you're, when you're, exactly, and then the Empress card. There's something fearful, but it blossom and blooms and develops beautifully. You have to have like a sense of humor about it. But literally under the anxiety card is the mama card, the empress. Um, and yeah, so for a lot of you, it's like if you're stressed about having children or vice versa, maybe you think you're pregnant. 
if that's the case, then you're not. The, something positive comes, but you're you're either jumping to a conclusion. Something is giving you anxiety. It's saying get out of the negative headspace. If you're patient with time, the results will be favorable. Justice, right? Again, something involving a Libra. You're magic. You're beautiful, Aquarius. Gemini and Virgo energy looks very positive for you as well. Yeah, you're going to build a home for a lot of you. It could be with a Gemini or a Virgo. All right, Aquarius, that was a beautiful reading. That was a good one. I'm really into that one. Yay for the air signs. You, had, you guys had good things this time around. Uh, please do like, share, subscribe. Uh, check out your financial uh, and financial money tarots. I posted those. They're called August monthlies. Um, very, very many messages. Uh, I think it's like half hour messages on career and money and finance. So check that out if you're interested. There's several other love readings on my channel if you want to check those out. That's what I got for you, Aquarius. I think you guys are awesome. Awesome sauce. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna close out. I just I that's it. We're pulling the plug. I'll see you guys later. Thank you for watching my tarot videos. Bye.